It's International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. The General Assembly decided to declare or observe 26th of June every year as the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking as expression of its determination to strengthen action and cooperation to achieve the goal of an international society free of drug abuse. Supported each year by individuals, communities and various organizations all over the world, this global observance aims to raise awareness of the major problem that illicit drugs represent to society. Public, Public Relations Officer of National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Michael Ofoyeju, joins us now in the studio uh, to tell us more uh, about uh, the day and of course what NDLEA is doing to curb drug trafficking in Nigeria. Thank you very much indeed for coming. It's a pleasure having yeah. me in your studio. Well, uh, first of all, let's begin by outlining how important this day is uh, in the fight or in efforts to ensure that we have a, a drug-free society. Thank you very much. The importance of uh, today cannot be overemphasized. You know, in any field of endeavor, if you cannot uh, uh, sit back and take stock, evaluate, mm. to know where your strengths, your weaknesses are, and uh, what needs to do, it becomes very difficult. Particularly in the fight against uh, illicit drugs, uh, both the production, uh, the trafficking, mm. and the use. It's a serious, uh, wondrous responsibility. And uh, let me place on record that the threat of drug is real. And, uh, uh, and that is the reason why the United Nations uh, uh, General Assembly decided to set aside a day mm. to mark it so that people can come together and say, what are the emerging trend? What are, uh, are the persisting mm. threats? How do we resolve them? So for us as an agency, we remain committed to countering illicit uh, uh, trafficking and uh, drugs and also the production as well as help those who are victims of drug trafficking, that mm. is the users, to come out of it. And how do we do this? Counseling and rehabilitation. All right. Now, beyond, beyond today, yes. remembering today yeah. as a day, as international day uh, against uh, you know, drug use and trafficking and all, and all of that, are we doing enough globally? And, you know, your organization as well, the National Drug Law Enforcement um, agency. agency, doing enough to ensure that people get away from, you know, these, these viruses. Thank you very much. We are doing, uh, globally, so much has been done. For instance, there are some countries that have adopted capital punishment to deal with the situation. In our own country, punishment ranges from between five to 25 years, you know? So what uh, the emphasis now is, we have seen both sides of, uh, you know, the divide, those who are for Capital punishment, mm. those who are for uh, stiffer punishment, maybe uh, in terms of incarceration. The thinking now is, even in the countries where they kill, it has not stopped. So what is the way forward? Yeah, but, but before we the, go to the way forward, yes. I was going to ask, because it's good you mentioned, because I was going to ask about that, despite the fact that there are grave consequences exactly. for the use of drugs, yeah. for trafficking in drugs. Yeah. Uh, in some cases, capital punishment, as we have in, I think, Malaysia, yes. and then Singapore, Dutete, China. Singapore yes. is also you know, carrying out <coughs> action against the drug, you know, traffickers and all that. Yet, people are still attracted yes. in droves you know, to it. Why is that? Uh, principally, is the proceeds Mm. It's, uh, the, there's huge resources in drug trafficking. Yeah, process, but what about the, what about the users? Yes, there is. A, Even though they let's know take it, it from, damaging yes, to health. Let's take it from two perspectives. Mm. Let me start with uh, the traffickers. The traffickers are principally motivated by the gains, mm. the financial gains they derive from it. Mm. And uh, the latest uh, report shows that cocaine. Uh, uh, trafficking, global cocaine trafficking, 
in a year mm. is about 85 billion dollars. That is a, a lot industry. of, it's a huge industry. Then every of the trafficking syndicates, they want a chunk of that amount. And mind you, that is just for cocaine. Mm. We have for heroin, we have for metamphetamine and others. Marijuana. Marijuana. Mm. So if you consider the, the, the total illicit proceed derived from drug trafficking in a year globally mm. is gangantuan. And that, you know, a struggle to get a chunk of that amount mm. is what has kept the trade on for so many decades. Then that's on the part of uh, the, the trafficking. Mm. For the users, when you, you, when, you, when you take a substance that is, uh, you know, addictive, what it does is that it interacts with the brain mm. and conditions the brain such that in a little while, the brain tells you that substance you took a while ago, mm. take it again. So the person takes, and that is why drug dependence is a medical condition globally. Mm. There's no argument about that. And that is the reason why uh, there, there is a strong push for decriminalization of uh, drug use. So people who are dependent on drugs, they are seen as victims that need help, just like somebody suffering from diabetes, headache, uh, waist pain, and what have you. And this is obvious. If the brain has been conditioned to take that particular substance, the person needs to undergo full rehabilitation process mm. to get off the hook of drugs. And that is why in defining drug dependence, it is an adaptive state where somebody continue to take drug despite adverse health, social, and other consequences. It has gone beyond the person's uh, you know, control. Taking off drugs even when they don't want to, mm. because the brain has been conditioned, they do that. And that is why if you take a, a look at a drug-dependent person, it's pitiable. Mm. For them to get the next fix of drug, they could sell any item. Yeah. Nothing is too precious for them to dispose. From their laptop, their handset, their vehicles, their houses, it, and a drug-dependent person can part with anything. Mm. To, to, to ensure, to that, ensure yeah, that they get the next the fix. Next consign, yes, the next consign. fix of drugs, yes. Mm. All right, now, we, 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 have, we have laws, not that we do not have laws against yeah. you know, these things, but do, do you think that we, 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 are, we are applying the laws, you know, as they should be applied in cases of, you know, drug trafficking, drug. You know, drug use, you know, and all that? Thank you very much. Uh, you see, there has been a lot of... Uh, debate on these issues. Let me start by saying that the NDLA Act mm. is quite adequate because from the prescription, uh, the punishment mm -hmm. as stated there, ranging from 5 to 25 years. All right. So uh, the, the uh, laws are quite uh, adequate. I, 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 sorry, I want you to be a little bit, uh, you know, brave because we do not have time anymore so okay. we can, uh, you know, round off. Okay. Yeah, the I'm laws sorry. are quite adequate, mm. but we need to be more, uh, you know, we need to drive enlightenment, public okay. enlightenment, okay. because people need to know. Like the theme of the year mm -hmm. is listen to, listen first. Yes. And because we believe that listening to children and youth is the first step to helping them live healthy and safe. Yeah. So parents need to listen to their words. They also need to be, be equipped to know what drug trafficking is, what right. are the tips to look at if their children are into drugs, right. and where to go to to seek for professional for help. help. All, right. All right, then uh, Public public Relations Officer, National Drug Enforcement uh, Law Enforcement Agency, Michael Ofoyeju. Mitchell. Uh, I beg Mitchell your pardon, Ofoyeju. Mitchell Ofoyeju, thank yes, you very much indeed for coming. It's a pleasure having me on your station. All right.